What's up, everyone? Shiraz only back from, from the underground, you know, to give you guys a quality ass tutorial, you know, back again. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on how to how to detune instruments, vocals, or whatever to give with, okay? And this is a technique used by the best of the best producers, of course, including myself, you know? So let's get started, all right? First of all, um, I'm gonna do it with the vocal track. <gasps> I, got, I have this vocal right here, listen to it. <gasps> sounds uh, normal what you're gonna do is you're gonna click double click on this right click right here go to edit and it will open up in Edison and you click right here on the time stretch drum loop thing and you go to here fine tuning okay make sure everything is um, everything is at default and then you're gonna detune this by let's say let's say four cents for now okay. Then I'm gonna drag this new four cents thing back here and let's listen to it again. Alright, did you guys hear what happened? If you guys are not sure, um, I'm gonna add a little bit something extra. So this time I'm gonna tune it down four cents. Accept, and then I'm going to drag the new one over. Listen to it now. If you guys have ever uh, messed around with detuning, like, um, tuning, detuning super saws and stuff, you know that when you detune, whether it's on whatever synth you have, Maximus, uh, no, I mean... What's it called? Yeah, but whatever synth you have, whether it's Citrus or Harmer or whatever, when you detune it, the sound gets wider because the phase, the phase of the individual notes, they start to um, they start to cancel each other out on certain points. And while sometimes this uh, is not desirable, like in certain cases, if you use it, it creates that phaser-like effect, and it gives more width to your normally, you know, um, like very narrow, boring sound, okay? Um, actually, this is this is how in the first place phasers got created because phasers, uh, back in the days, they used to have two tape recorders, right? Two tape recorders, and they would have exactly the same material on two of the recordings, and um, they will slow one down while speeding one up with by putting down your hand, and that will create that phasing effect and that's why we call it phaser. Same with flanging as well. <clears throat> same. It's like more or less the same technique, uh, different ways to implement it, I guess. So if you listen to it all together again. <laughs> no, let me assign it to individual channels, of course. And if you guys, um, you guys could do this for the main vocals, but when you do for the main vocals, of course you wanna, you know, set the bar. <laughs> you know, so that it doesn't sound off tune as much. And then what I'm gonna do is add a bus, of course. Route all of these to here. Right click, route to track only. <laughs> By the way, I recently updated to um, 12.4, you know, FL Studio, <laughs> the best man. <laughs> Extra thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back um, to Edison 
And then I'm just gonna pitch it up to um, one octave. And let's drag this. So with these, the possibilities are pretty much in infinite. You know, you guys can make um, like blur pads out of this, like vocal pads, like atmospheric things in the background. <laughs> can not only do this for um, vocals but you guys could also do this for like instruments um, as an example let me get out one of my stuff from my sample pack let's see all right so I got this piano transition that I use okay what I'm gonna do is right click edit again go here of course Set it down to, let's say, negative two for this time. Let's see how that goes, okay? Drag it back, listen to it together. Yeah, you guys can definitely hear the phase, phasiness of each other. And then um, what I did right there was um, basically I um, went here, load, get the original one again because you don't want to detune it and then tune it up again that doesn't make any sense so plus two this time <clears throat> drag it here and then let me make another see how normally if I just play it it's not it's not about the volume it's the whole, it gives it way more stereo width if you have it. so use this for anything whether saxophones any kind of instruments um, producers tend to use it a lot on uh, vocals and like if you have any kind of um, <clears throat> like a long drawn out pitch like a saxophone or a flute or a horn like people tend to use it a lot something like that so um follow me on facebook and soundcloud all that good stuff and ask me any questions if you need anything I'm, i'll always try to answer your questions peace out till next time <laughs>